Okay, so here we go. We've got a 1851 Pieta revolver, uh, Navy that's supposedly uh, history. Some people say Wild Bill Hickok carried two of these cap and ball revolvers. Um, this one's made by Pieta. I didn't like the original grips. Um, they're kind of cheap and plasticky, so I wanted to replace them. Got these through River Something Trading Company. I'll look that up and provide a link. But I think they're really nice grips. But what I didn't want to do was deal with all the complexities of trying to make this retaining pin here line up with the end of these and then drill the hole here. And, you know, so I went the route of uh, where we'll epoxy uh, this on to here, uh, like this, and then epoxy the other side. And we'll go into detail about that in a moment. Um, and you know, basically, you're going to put some Vaseline. Got some Vaseline here. You're going to put some Vaseline around this. So when you epoxy it, obviously you don't want it to stick to the back strap or, or the uh, spring. Um, you're going to epoxy it. Let it sit for whatever the recommendations are of your epoxy. Um, probably half hour, maybe longer if you choose. When you remove these screws uh, here and pull this back strap off. This will slide right out. Um, you clean it and put it back together and you should be good to go. The key is lining up this and these, obviously, like this in here. Um, it's a little challenging, but you know, you've got 30 seconds to get it right before you uh, start to, maybe a little longer before you run into issues. So a basic inventory um, is, uh, this is disassembled obviously, but uh, you need some rubber bands so when you put these on here with the epoxy it sticks, you need Vaseline to protect this so none of the epoxy gets on that and adheres. I recommend uh, some uh, Q-tips just to clean things up a little bit. Obviously you're going to need a, uh, a screw and then something to drive this retaining pin out of the back strap butt there. Um, some epoxy uh, and uh, I've got a cardboard here to mix the epoxy up on and I'm going to put some cling wrap or visqueen or something uh, down underneath this so that if anything drips it doesn't drip on my mat um, but that's it that's what we're going to do okay so what I obviously need to do is put this back together um, so that it can be assembled to put these on so I'm going to attempt to do this very quickly. I'll probably not put all this on the tape because I don't want to bore anybody with putting this back on, but basically line up the screws um, and reattach the back strap snugly. Okay, so this is just a test of uh, setting it up. There's no Vaseline, no epoxy on this, but this particular rubber band needed three wraps on it, three twists to get it really tight around this. This one only two. Your rubber bands will be different. Again, the amount of time that your epoxy needs to sit will vary based upon temperature, humidity, uh, those kind of things. Read your instructions for that. But, uh, you know, once you rubber band it up, uh, set it on there. You know, this doesn't fit 100% perfect like I was thinking now that I've got it actually on there. This back strap could use a little grinding. I am probably not going to do that. Again, I'm. this is just kind of a throw it on a shelf, look at it. I'm not really trying to make this perfect. But if I were, I would want to grind this down a little bit, grind this one down just a little bit so it's even, because obviously you grind that, that one's going to be too long. But they really are very close. They're much closer than a lot I've seen. Okay, so we're going to take uh, a Q-tip and get... Uh, Vaseline fairly liberally on this. Um, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want it gobbed all over the place. But uh, you do want to make sure that you get enough on there that uh, the grip doesn't stick. Um, that the epoxy uh, gets... I would even recommend getting it down in here behind this spring a little bit um, just in case it drips down in there. All right, so now we're going to set this in here. Try not to get Vaseline on it. Easier said than done. You're definitely going to get some on your hands. And I just touched that by accident. So try not to do what I just did there. 
I'm going to use a Q-tip on that. So, that's not good. So that's on there. Now, let's some epoxy get on this. Not too much, but enough to get a good stick on it. Technically, you're supposed to put this on both sides, meaning a little bit on this and a little bit on the back of the grip. But I think with the rubber bands, we'll be okay. That is clearly too much. Mix that up a little bit. All right, so now <clears throat> comes the fun part. <clears throat> Getting these on. Good thing I had that. I just stripped epoxy on my on my counter. I don't want that. Oh my gosh. Gonna need some acetone on that, baby. Alright, so now let me get that off. That's a little too much if it's dripping like that. There we go. Alright, so now one grip on this side. Set that up. The other grip on that side. Set that up. This is where it would pay to have somebody helping you. But that's the first rubber band set. You can set it down there for a second. Remember on this one, I need three twists to really get it tight. <clears throat> over go up so now we're set let me line them up that's got to come forward a little bit all right so I think that is about right at least it better be because it's going to be that way so that is it <clears throat> Now that's got to sit for approximately, I would recommend 24 hours. It sets in 30 minutes, but um, I will probably not take that rubber band off until 18 to 20 hours. But anyhow, that's it. Okay, it hasn't been 24 hours. It's only been overnight, um, so I'm going to take that risk. I'm, this stuff sets up in 30 minutes to an hour, so I'm pretty sure... It is solid, but let's pull out these screws here and uh, pull the back strap off. And see how it looks. One more screw <clears throat> to solve the mystery. did have a little bit of epoxy uh, spill out on the back strap right along here but I managed to actually right here but I did manage to get it off so there it is off <clears throat> stuck in there and it doesn't necessarily want to pop right out ah, guess what I maybe don't have enough uh, <clears throat> ah, there we go All right, you hear that pop free so we're free but it's not wanting to come off all the way oh there we go alright alright so here's the finished product uh, River Junction Trading Company grips they don't fit a hundred percent perfect but I really didn't have to do anything to them um, a lot of grips require a tremendous amount of work either on the grip or on the backstrap metal these are the grips that came with it um, very white very plastic 
uh, very much I feel kind of downgraded the look um, again I didn't use the option of drilling holes in the screw here I did drove out this backstrap pin that sits right here you have to line it up you may choose to do that I chose to glue just uh, you know it's either two-part grip or one-part grip I figured to go to one part 